Hey you all, I am back with another Current Burn Candle review and today we're going to talk about Tropical Island Colada. This is in the Tropics collection. This was just a really bright, slightly orange tinted jar. Not my favorite of the Ombre Tropical um, iridescent candles that came out. This one's got some cute pineapples and some big old palm leaves or something and um, the lid is super cute. This is at the $26.50 price point, and my batch code is 2015AG02. I will try to remember to share that, but if not, just ask me down below and I'll grab the candle and share it with you in the comments because that's something new to me. But apparently, these have all been giving us different experiences based on the batch code, so I don't mind to share mine with you. The notes on Tropical Island Colada are pineapple juice, coconut milk, sweet vanilla, and crushed ice. And I think mostly you get the crushed ice. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I get a lot of pineapple juice in this one and then a creamy note. So I think that is the coconut milk mixed with the sweet vanilla. Overall, really pretty. A really pretty fruity scent. Um, I think Cynthia said it the best and others may have too, but this is a virgin a pina colada scent. I definitely get the pina colada. I've had a pina colada or two in my day, but you don't get any rum or anything. I think that's rums in the colada. I don't know. I always wanted to be a bartender. Side note, fun fact. I just thought I have the chatty personality to do it, but I don't know how to mix drinks at all. And when I make them at home, I got to stay out of my car. That's all I'm saying. But okay. So really what I get in this candle right off the top is pineapple juice. It's really sweet um, with that creaminess of the vanilla and the coconut milk. I think coconut milk can be creamy. Um, I don't really drink it or use it for anything, but like I said, if it's in a pina colada, I've had it. And um, so far on burn, I really do think this one's doing pretty well. I just like to show my wick placement if I remember because of the <laughs> These are really mushrooming, but in the funniest way, they're like sprouting out. Like I felt like they were standing upright. And now after the second burn, these are all like kind of going different directions. I always take that little top part off so it doesn't pop, putting sooty grossness into the candle or just, you know, scaring me like I'm going to start a house fire. But other than that, I don't trim the wicks because again, I find when I do trim wicks, it's hit or miss, but sometimes it can make the candle dead out. And I don't want to be helping it dead out if I cannot help it. I hope that made sense. So, you know, this one is on the lighter side to me, but I do think that I still like it. I think this candle would be really great for blending. Like I think sweet pink pineapple or pink pineapple sunrise and this one would be really fun fruity pineapple um forward. This one like I said, it's missing a rum note. They needed to just go ahead and throw the rum in here so we could enjoy it. Um but I thought this I burnt in my living room and i really again it was my first burn sorry i had a sneeze coming that's awful especially when you're making these videos because you kind of lose your train of thought i think it's gone now though Woo. i looked into the light i did all the things but it just attacked me sorry back to this candle sorry okay so on my first burn i put this in my big huge living room and i really couldn't smell it even when i was standing over it but it was my first burn so I let it burn for three hours and I put it out and the next day, or was it later that night? I think it was the next day. The next day, earlier in the day, I put this in the kitchen. In the kitchen before I burnt this one, I had a Fiji White Sands going. That's going to be in my fresh blends. I don't know if you've seen that before or after. Um, I was burning Fiji White Sands with uh, Cabana Linen from Huntington Homes and that is such a nice like fresh oh my gosh it's just so clean i really think it's like pretty clean like it's like a little perfumey but mostly just a nice clean air resetting experience but so i felt like i couldn't smell anything in the air when i lit this candle so i let it go for about two hours and i walked back through and right in my kitchen i was like oh that's nice then i made breakfast i start my candles when i wake up so on the weekends you can see candles go in my house like 6 a.m it is what it is so once i made breakfast i had made eggs and toast and i couldn't smell this candle anymore <laughs> i was like oh no it smells like eggs and crushed ice like it was just eggs so i was like okay i need to do this one again um but before I had made the breakfast that this did not cover up whatsoever, I let it go another two hours. And I was like, yeah, that's not even touching it. It just smells like eggs in here. So I wanted to put something stronger in there. And I'll always just follow it up with something that I'm not really 
reviewing or wanting to talk about, um, just let in like something go. So I think I threw a banana cabana in there. That's a strong candle and that covered up the egg smell. So this one wasn't for me for that, but that's not why I think we would buy tropical island clad. I like to cover breakfast cooking smells, but you know, a candle, if it's in a smaller space, like typically it'll start to like evaporate that scent if it has a good decent throw and strength like i said those are two separate things for me um but this one was lacking a little bit of the strength like i said if i was in the kitchen i could smell it but if i wasn't in the kitchen and i made something this was gone so i definitely need to keep trying it and i definitely will bring it back in a post burn review um i i recommend it but I don't recommend it to those of you that really want a strong candle. Um, it could definitely pick up, but it's not like for, so I, I did review beach weather and in beach weather, the second burn got stronger than the first burn, which is typical for a candle. Like as it's getting to pick up and it's getting through that, like first third of the candle, I feel like it's going to tell you the story of how the candle is going to burn. But I feel like at that point, you know how strong it's going to be. You know if it's going to throw, all of those things. I, I feel that way anyway. Um, and so with this one, I didn't get that vibe, but I did kind of two of those spaces I burnt it in were bigger. So if you have a smaller place and you like sweet, fruity, creamy scents, then I think you'd love this. If you have a big space and you want your candles to be strong, I just feel like they're stronger, fruity, creamy, vanilla scents out there that this probably wouldn't suit your needs. But... Overall, there's nothing dudding out about this candle. There's nothing off-putting about this candle. Um, but it didn't wow me. It kind of fell, which I'm going to do a little ranking tropics because I've pretty much tried them all at this point in this year's packaging or before, but I'll share that in that video. I would say this falls pretty close to the middle for me. I definitely want to burn it a little bit more before that video. So mine's going to be super late and irrelevant, but that's okay. Um, but it's a nice light tropical scent um there's just there's nothing that's wowing me so far i don't know if that if you guys care that it doesn't wow me but i don't want to recommend something that isn't like ooh, i really like this candle like sweet red mango as soon as that flame hit the wax i was like i can't wait to do my current burn review and talk about that one because that one stayed consistent strong sweet that just smelled like Skittles. Um, but this one, I maybe it will be better over time. And if that's true, then I will do a follow-up. Um, I can burn through candles in a week, so it's not like it's going to be months from now. But if you're participating in the sales, remember Bath & Body Works has an amazing return policy. If you try it once or twice and don't like it, um, remember you can't take it back fully burned because we just want to be able to sleep at night with be at rest with our souls, but, um, they, their exchange policy is amazing. So if you're interested in this candle, watch a bunch of reviews on here, listen to other people's rankings. They'll talk about what they like and what they don't like about the candle. All I can do is give you my first impressions for my first couple of burns. So whether that's important or not, I'm sharing it all with you. Let me know down below. Are you guys digging the tropics collection this year? Are these not your favorite? Um, are you waiting for better ones that are coming out? Like, what are you burning? I, I just love chatting with you guys in the comments. So leave that down below. And those are all my thoughts in a rambly, messy way on Tropical Island Colada. I like it. I just don't love it. And we're going to see how it goes from here. But thank you guys, as always, for watching. Like this video if you liked it. Um, don't dislike it if you don't like it. No, I'm just kidding. You can do whatever you want. But leave me a comment about what you're burning and loving. And if there's any other candles that you see me haul that you like reviews on, of course, I will do that for you too. And if not, I will just see you in a video probably tomorrow. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.